Bonjour, Emily Talpin, OM System Ambassador in the US. Welcome back to the channel. Today, if you are new to flash photography and you are scared of using a flash, well, this video is for you. So let's get started. So what makes a good macro photography? Well, it's honestly your use of light. I mean, it's not everything, but it really is a big part of what makes a good macro photography or not. So unfortunately, to get a very nice, pleasant, well diffused light, you need a flash. Most of my photography, actually probably 90% of my macro photography is done with a flash because I need to be able to control the light. And so flash it is. Here are a couple of samples. This is a photo without a flash. This is a photo with a flash. And this is a photo with a flash and a diffuser. So yes, when I say to make a good macro photo, you need a flash, you need a flash with a diffuser. They go together. So let's get that out of the way, flash and diffuser. It doesn't matter if you don't want to buy a very expensive diffuser, then don't worry about it. Just watch this video that I made for you about how to make your own diffuser using cardboard box, aluminum foil and a paper towel it actually works pretty well. So that's a good way to start. Now, when I talk to people who want to get into macro photography and they're questioning about flash and they're really worried about it's going to be too complicated for them, I tell them my big secret. <laughs> it's a very simple secret that I'm sharing with you because probably 70% of my photos are all taken using the same flash setting. Drum roll, TTL. That's right. I trust my flash and I trust my camera. They talk to each other, they communicate. When my flash is on my camera, it's different if your flash would not be on your camera and you're trying to light up your subject from the side. But here, most of the time, my flash is on my camera with a diffuser so I trust my camera to tell my flash how powerful the flash should be to illuminate the scene and it works very very well so that's what I want you guys to do just put your flash in TTL if you're starting then this is really the best way and even if you're not starting then TTL most of the time actually works extremely well and if you need a little bit more light, then do a plus 0 0.3, plus 0 0.7. That's how I regulate my flash. But first and foremost, my camera and my flash talk to each other. I don't have to worry about a thing. I just worry about my composition and tracking my subject and making sure that the eye of my subject are sharp. And then I also shoot at f16, or a lower aperture because that's what will give me the most depth of field. And I get some pretty good photos with this technique. So I wanted to share it with you because I've heard so many people telling me that they are scared of flash photography and they shouldn't. And I promise you, if you're starting that way, just, um, you know, F16, F14, whatever you need to get the depth of field and then you're letting your camera and your flash talk to each other using TTL, you're probably not going to have any problem and it's really going to improve your macro game because you're going to have a very nice, pleasant light. Now, it's not for all subjects. Um, mushroom photography, I like actually to use a flashlight, an external light and light up the mushroom from the bottom. But for insects, zero problem. Just use this technique and I promise you, your macro photos are definitely going to improve. Now, disclosures. If you want to do 
focus bracketing or focus tacking in camera, then yes, TTL is not gonna work. And then yes, you will need to know how to use your flash. But in all the photos that I've showed you, those are all photos taken using TTL, letting my flash and my camera talk to each other and using the best parameter for my photos. So see, macro photography and flash photography does not have to be complicated. It can be very simple. So please do not be afraid to use a flash. You should try it. Go and get a flash and try this technique and let me know in the comments how did it go, especially if it's your first time using a flash. Let me know, I would love to know. And also, if you've been using a flash for a long time, same, let us know in the comments. Are you using the flash manually or are you using TTL? What's your percentage of using TTL versus manual? I think that would be a great topic of discussion for this week. And again, I want to thank you so much for all your support. I really appreciate it. If you're not a subscriber, well, it's never too late. Click on the subscribe button, hit the bell so you know when my videos are coming out. And I really appreciate it because it really helps my channel and it encourages me to produce more videos for you guys. So again, thank you very much. And until next week, happy macro shooting. Bye and go and use that flash. Au revoir.